Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. In today's video we have a little haul from my HHC order for August. I only got four polishes and in fact these are actually only three items because the ones from Phoenix were a duo. So technically only three items, right? <laughs> So we've got four polishes to look at. One of the ones from Phoenix will be a topper. So when I did the swatches, I did go ahead and do two swatches of our main polish. So you could see what they look like with the topper over it as well. So the first one that I got was that little duo from Phoenix and it did come with this really cute little I guess sticker and I'm guessing it has a character from the inspiration for the polishes. Really cute little addition there and then of course we have the polishes. We've got the topper here on the left, the beautiful purple polish on the right. We have Architect of Olympus as the topper and wise girl as the polish the topper is a really soft delicate blue it is loaded with holographic glitter as well as a beautiful shifting shimmer this one since it is designed as a topper is not really buildable to full opacity all on its own for the swatches i did do two coats and as you can see it is still very very sheer although you could get a nice wash of color on your nails if you wanted a like sheer look on your nail. Well, look at the glow from that shift. It's so strong. I see the red to gold very predominantly in here. It's just gorgeous. I would say that I should add this to the comparisons of all of my sheer blue polishes with shimmer, but this one is so, so sheer that the blue doesn't really, really show up as strongly as a lot of those other polishes. So I think it does still hold up as a fairly unique polish to my collection. So that was Phoenix Polish Architect of Olympus. The polish itself is Wise Girl. Now, this is a beautiful purple polish that has a very strong shimmer to it that shifts from red to green to gold. Then you have more holographic glitter and blue holographic glitter. It's a really beautiful combination. I love the pop of the blue against this base and against that shimmer. This is it in three coats. This is sheer enough in the base that I do think that some people might need a blurring base coat underneath it, or you could always do two coats of this over an undie or a visible blurring base coat, but it's just a stunning combination and super, super unique to my collection. Again, I love the shimmer and the mix of glitter. So that was Wise Girl. And then for the combination of both, here it is with three coats of Wise Girl topped with Architect of Olympus. As you can see, hopefully, that there's now an additional shimmer. It also sort of softens that purple. You have more of the twinkles of more additional glitter. It's a really beautiful combination. You definitely could wear Wise Girl all on its own, but I do really love the softness of those paired together. Next up is one from BCB Lacquer. This is called Reader Beware, and I've been really loving my BCB lacquers lately. I have been getting quite a few of them over the last year or so, and this is a really interesting and unique shade. It is a very, very deep purple that actually in some angles leans a bit indigo. Then there's a whole lot of holographic in here as well as a shifting shimmer. You can see that really strong, almost bronzy red. Then the green and gold at the edge of the bottle. It's a gorgeous combination. I think this is pretty unique to my collection as well. Love that glow, so pretty. So this is it in two coats. This one was nice and opaque in just those two coats. I don't think too many people would need a third unless you have very long nails. This one is super vampy on the nail. I think this would make a beautiful fall polish. Got that very, very rich purple base. And again, the glow of the holographic and that shimmer. It's a really, really beautiful combination. So that was BCB Lacquers Reader Beware. And then the last polish that I got is definitely going on my fall rack. This one comes from Bluebird Lacquer and it's called Grenadier and Barrett. And this is a very unique shade. It's somewhere between a burnt orange and a burgundy. There's also the scattered holographic or the shattered hollow. You also have a shift or almost like a multi-chrome in this one. See that fuchsia, but it also pops to red, gold, and orange. Again, super, super unique to my collection. I don't have that many in this formulation from Bluebird, and I'm very much regretting that when I swatched this because it's really gorgeous. This is it in two coats. 
Again, I cannot get enough of those flakies on the nail. I really don't know why I don't have that many from Bluebird. I have a number from Bees Knees Lacquer and a few other brands, but somehow I have just completely snoozed on the ones from Bluebird Lacquer. So I need to remedy that. But look at how interesting this one is. You almost can't tell on camera anyways that it has orange in it because that shift in the shimmer is going from like a fuchsia to almost purpley red. So really super unique polish. I'm definitely getting this one on my fall rack. Just such a gorgeous, gorgeous combo. So that last one was Bluebird Lacquers, Grenadier, and Barrett. And there you go. Nice little short and sweet video of my haul from HHC for the month of August. If you got any for that month, let me know what you got down below. For the month of September, I actually was trying to be super, super good since my polish pickup haul was ridiculously big for me. So I did end up not getting any polishes for the month of September. I do have a few that I probably will kick myself for not getting, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> In any case, hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos and I will see you in that next one.